love me cause I'm popping This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking When I link with ball point, you know it's not, not, not Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to edit a basketball hype video in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm going to kind of just break down this edit and a whole bunch of different techniques and so on and so forth that I use in this video. Now this playback is going to be, you know, as you can see, it's a little laggy. That has nothing to do with the edit. That just has to do with uh, motion blur and I'm just not using um, a proxy media. So don't let you know that uh, laggy motion blur, um, you know, make you think the video is bad. It's just because I'm using um, optimized media um, playback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go over a couple little tips and tricks um, that I used in this video and then hopefully help you um, to edit um, your own hype videos. So the first one I want to go over is music and editing to the beat. Now as you can see right here, here is my music track right here. Now what I just did was right here, um, ignore the bottom track right here. I'm going to use it just for an example purpose. So as you can see right here, I kind of faded the music in right here and then near the end as you can see right here, I faded the music out right here. By fading the music in and out, you just avoid clipping. Now, as you can see right here, see these keyframes right here, keyframe right here, and then a the keyframe is kind of hidden right there. All I did was um, I used the range selection tool to kind of slowly fade um, the audio out. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're editing audio is honestly, I found that it's easier to use in the instrumental version. So, as you can see right here, it's really obvious this is the instrumental version right here. I edited it with the instrumental and then I uh, swapped it out with the vocal uh, version. But by editing with the instrumental version, as you can see right here, I can see the beats more, the beats are more obvious. So you can see right here, it's really obvious when there's a beat. So it helps you to make, you know, much more precision cuts when you're using the instrumental version, because you can see here there's no vocals, it's just in the instrumental version. So it's much easier to see where the beat drops and it just makes for um, a lot easier editing. Editing. So you can see right here, I just placed markers where all the beat drops are just to help me when um, I'm editing. So you can see right here, I kind of had a little bit of a fade right here. Basically what I did, basically what I did right here was I found, I went, near, I went like to the, near the end of the song and I tried to find a place where there is a similar beat right here and then I just chopped it off right here. Now this is going to be different for every song. Sometimes you're not, you're not going to be able to do this. The ending for every song is going to be different, but I just found a similar beat. So this right here is near the end of the music track, but the beginning of this second part right here is this exact same beat. So it's really, it's not even noticeable. Um, and I kind of cut the track short and then as you can see right here, I kind of just faded the audio right here just to avoid any type of uh, clipping. The one thing I did too with organization, as you can see right here, you may ask yourself, I'll go and just get rid of this right here. You may ask yourself, why in the world do you have this you know, thing in the middle right here? Well, it's a, a gap clip. Now what you can do right here is you can just go ahead and click on option W to create a gap clip. Now why do you want a gap clip? Well, if I take this clip right here, as you can see, you say, wait a minute, if you know Final Cut, why aren't the clips um, snapping together um, right there? Well, that's because I'm using a gap clip. And by using a gap clip, you get rid of the magnetic timeline. So you're basically like cheating the magnetic timeline, which can be really easy to kind of organize your clips. It's just one way to get around the magnetic timeline. Another really helpful feature, if I go ahead and click right here, right click and I go ahead and click on assign video rules right here. As you can see right here, I can color code my clips. So I can go ahead and just color code the clips, which is just really nice as you can see right here. Assign video roles, titles, video, LUT, motion blur, and video effects. It just helps in my case to help organize um, your video. Another tip that I wanna go over is color grading. So you can see right here, here's the adjustment layer right here. Here's the adjustment layer title LUT. So if I click on the adjustment layer right here, as you can see here is a custom LUT right here. And then I just chose um, Chrome for my custom LUT. Now a couple of things to keep in mind. 
sometimes it's gonna it's gonna depend but it, a lot of times you're gonna want your effects above the color right here so you can see right here here is the lens distortion right here if I take this lens distortion and drag it above as you can see the color changes because everything underneath the adjustment layer is gonna be you know the color is going to be affected so you if you if you don't want that to happen you want to drag your effects above sometimes a local sometimes it'll look good sometimes it'll look good bad it just depends but if you see right here any effect that's below the adjustment layer is going to affect the color of the effect um, right there maybe ask yourself okay what, what happens if my clip is above the adjustment layer take press on the clip right here command C to copy click on the clip and click on shift command V to paste attributes as you can see right here here's the custom LUT on the top clip um, right there so that's pretty much it um, uh, right there so you want to obviously you know edit to the beat right here so as you can see it's all edited the beat the instrumental version is just a really nice way to help edit to the beat place markers and then you can add a gap clip to kind of cheat um, the magnetic time and then of course you obviously want to um, color grade your footage the next thing I want to go over is kind of just edit, uh, do a little bit of an editing breakdown. So you can see right here, here is the clip right here. Now if I go ahead and play it right here, as you can see, the scale is just kind of, it's just kind of scaling out right here. So as you can see, I placed the keyframe at 150% scale. As you can see right here, the scale is just decreasing um, right there. Now if I head over to the next section right here, as you can see, I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The next split screen will appear and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the next split screen will go right here. And then I go over here and I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 right here. And then all I have right here is just a frame um, inside of a frame right there. And that's the effect right here. As you can see right here, I just have um, a custom generator right here just as a background then I create another custom generator with kind of a tannish look right here and if I go ahead click right here shift command G to open up the compound clip I just basically have like a text um, repeater effect right here so you can see right here all I'll do is kind of go one frame at a time so basically as you can see right here the text just appears every single frame right there and that's the effect um, right there now head over to the next section right here as you can see if I click on command R right here I just speed ramped this as you can see it's at normal speed right here well I reverse the clip and then I speed ramped it and as you can see it speeds up really fast um, right here to get the shot right there I think the original shot is like 20 seconds long or something like that as you can see there we go now it keeps now it just plays um, right there so command R um, right here now if I go ahead and then I'll go ahead and just go to the next frame right here so as you can see right here I just have a cutout right here with a draw mask right here and then the background here is the same thing but the mask um, is just inverted and what I just did right here if I go ahead and click on um, crop right here on the bottom clip right here I just use the candle burn effect you could keyframe the scale if you want but as you can see right here he just falls off the screen and the background just zooms in to reveal the next shot which this next shot right here is just a uh, split screen right here with this clip having an eight millimeter um, a film effect which I just thought was a really cool effect now if I head over to right here now I'm going to go to this um, flash transition um, right here so you can see the exposure um, right here so I'll go one two three four five it just creates a flash transition then one two three four five right here and then I just have this really cool um, lens distortion effect right there now head over to the next one right here it just plays right here and then as you can see right here it freezes right there and as you can see I just use the Ken's burn effect um, right here so I go to crop right here and then go to the Ken's burn effect um, right there it should just zoom in um, right there so as you can see right here it just zooms in um, right there so as you can see right here as you can see there we go it just zooms in to the ball right here to create um, this really cool transition and then just have this really cool kind of a lens 
um, a flare transition just a transition into the next clip right here and then have this clip right here which is just kind of like a um, paper uh, cutout right here so I just basically have this subject right here I cut him out and then I create another layer and then I kind of have this you know paper outline right here as you can see right here and then I just went ahead I'll just go out right here again this video is gonna be more of like a breakdown I'm not gonna go step by step in every single effect almost all these effects I've already created videos on this video is gonna be more kind of like a, just like a step by step overview of how I created these effects so as you can see right here all I did was just keyframe the mask for 10 frames right here so the mask is just keyframe right here to then boom then there we go reveal the next shot right here now if I head right here it's just the same thing with a mask effect right here so you can see here's a scrape and um, the wave amount so you can just you know kind of watch the keyframe right here and it's for 10, uh, 10 frames so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 um, right there obviously the settings are going to be different um, for every single clip but these are the effects that I used and then I just keyframe the amount right here those you can see right here here is a normal clip right here uh, normal clip right there and then I just create a, a duplicate right here and then as you can see right here all I did was I just created a collided tile right there just to create so if I take the collided tile right here and then I uncheck it right there all that does is it basically just creates um, a mirrored image um, right there and this is by far one of my favorite parts of the entire video right here I edited it to the beat um, right here so all I did right here was for 10 frames I just increased the scale to 200% so increase the scale right here increase the scale right here and then I just increase the scale right here so I just thought it was a really cool effect um, to kind of edit to the beat right here so you can see right here that here is just an eight millimeter um, film effect right there and then I just added a film burn right here but instead I took away the film burn and just kind of added the dust effect pretty simple effect right there and then I just have a lens flare um, effect right there and then I just have this really cool kind of film overlay from Cinepax just to create this really cool kind of split screen effect right here and then I have this really cool kind of falling um, frame effect so all I did was I just keyframe the position for 15 frames well first the first five frames I keyframe the rotation and then I just keyframe the position so it falls off um, the screen right there and then obviously I have this like film border vertical effect and then this really cool kind of object wipe transition right here so you can see it just wipes across the screen I got this transition from Ryan Nagel and I've already made um, a video on it before and then it's the same thing before where I just kind of increase the scale right here to kind of have it edit to the beat right there and then I have this really cool um, typography kind of animated text effect with kind of like a film burn and a dust particle um, effect right there and that's pretty much um, it right there and that's this really cool kind of um, basketball you know hype reel um, edit and that's pretty much it right there so what you want to do is you want to make sure you edit to the beat using the instrumental version can just help you edit to the beat you want to place markers where the beats are creating a gap clip can just help you avoid the magnetic um, timeline color coding clips are really nice and then obviously make sure um, you color grade your footage right here so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of play it over again it's gonna be a little laggy because it's on optimized media right here so you can see just a custom generator with a text repeater that gets small the frame gets smaller and then it kind of creates a um, split frame every 10 frames speed ramp right here a cutout freeze frame split screen flash transition lens distortion then you have a zoom in film burn right there then you have a couple cool really cool uh freeze frame transitions a collider tile a scale and then you have like this really cool kind of film burn um overlay and these film uh, over uh, overlays right here and then you have this like falling frame effect and then you have this object wipe transition and again we go again with this kind of like zoom in the zoom sequence with this really cool kind of um, animated text effect so go ahead and let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this edit what do you think I could fix what do you think I could do better I would love feedback I'm continuing to kind of keep working towards you know becoming a professional full-time editor so I would love feedback on this really cool kind of 
type film so by all means go ahead and leave it down in the comments below what do you think I could fix what could I do better I would love to hear um, feedback or maybe you just really hate it uh, you know any feedback or criticism um, is welcome and that's pretty much it hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you need this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time also a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 240 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials so definitely go ahead and check out that playlist if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials again I upload new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so again make sure you hit that subscribe button anyways I will see you guys in the next one peace Thank you.